Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rocio and this is Risa's Rizzos. For those of y'all who are tuning in for the very first time, welcome to this channel and welcome to my bathroom. I'm basically here in my bathroom and you're here with me in my bathroom because I wanted to show you all how I apply my DIY protein treatments or my DIY deep conditioning treatments because a lot of you have been asking for a step-by-step -step routine on this because apparently in my previous videos, whenever I show you all how to make these protein treatments or how to make these deep conditioning treatments at home, I don't really think thoroughly explain to you all how I apply it onto my hair like I'll show you how to make the treatment and then I'll usually like fast forward the whole application process because I like, I don't know I guess I kind of thought that everyone knew how to apply some of these treatments in their hair but I want to show you all how I apply it on my hair and why I apply it on my hair and obviously how I rinse it out of my hair so for those of y'all who are interested I'm going to go ahead and get started on clean hair obviously my hair is very very dirty it needs a pick me up so I'm gonna show you all how I apply my DIY protein treatments so the first thing that I'm gonna cover is I like to apply DIY treatments on clean hair I think it's the most effective that way I think that you're ridding yourself of anything that's coating your hair strand and then you're just kind of starting fresh and new so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair I'll be right back and then we're gonna get started all right y'all so my hair is clean and I know you guys are gonna ask me what I wash my hair with so I use the Bumble and Bubble BB Curl Sulfate Free Shampoo and of course I used it with my Vita Good Scalp Massaging Shampoo Brush and then I went in with my Shea Moisture Raw Shea Water Restorative Conditioner. If you want to co-wash that's fine. You don't necessarily have to use a shampoo or a clarifying shampoo or anything of that sort. I just used the shampoo and conditioner of today because it was long overdue. Alright so the first thing that I mainly do is I want to separate it in four different sections because it's easier for me to apply the products in that way. I have fine hair so it's easier to just make four sections if you have thicker hair or if you have a lot more hair I don't really have a lot of hair I have low density curls if you have more hair then it might be better for you to separate it in more sections but for me four quadrants just gets the job done so first I'm just gonna separate my hair into two sections and then I'm gonna separate the bottom into two halves as well And then this top half I'm going to split in two. And I just like to use these clips because I feel like they just hold on to my hair really well. So I have the protein treatment here and I mainly use my fingers or only my fingers when I'm applying it onto my hair because that way I'm able to feel where it is that I'm applying the treatment, specifically in areas where they get the most dry. I can feel where there is any brittleness, I can feel where there are any split ends if I happen to have any and I can feel exactly where I'm applying the product so I just use my hand. Make sure to apply the treatment as close to the root as possible. That's the hair that's growing immediately from your head, so you want it to be the strongest. It's also important to apply gently because you don't want to cause any additional breakage. Don't forget to separate your hair so that you don't miss any parts, including the section underneath. So my hair is pretty saturated from the roots all the way to most of the ends and then I'm going to basically drench the rest of the ends with the treatment. Once it feels like my hair is thoroughly saturated with the treatment, I mainly just separate it into two sections and then twist. Then I wrap it in a little bun and I clip it. It's definitely going to get messy, which is why I have the old t-shirt on, but it's really important to saturate your hair as much as possible with the treatment because you really want your hair to absorb all the nutrients that the treatment has. Trapping the heat coming from your head helps to open the cuticle, 
which helps to further allow the treatment to penetrate your hair. While it may look silly, I trap the heat by doing the baggie method. The way I do it is I'll wrap my head with a plastic bag, put a hot towel on top of the bag, and then a second bag on top. Other ways to help open the cuticle is to sit under a hooded dryer or hop in the shower with hot water so the steam also allows for the cuticles to open. The amount of time that you leave the treatment in your hair is pretty much up to you. I like to leave this treatment in for about 30 to 45 minutes, sometimes even longer if my hair feels really brittle. Once time is up, I gently remove the plastic bag and clips and hop in the shower so that the water rinses the treatment out clear. I usually work on one side at a time to really make sure that I don't have any treatment left in my hair. It also helps if you massage your scalp to make sure that you don't have any treatment left in your scalp either. And that's basically it. You just rinse it out of your hair until the water runs clear. I hope these tips helped. Let us know in the comment below what your methods are to applying a DIY protein treatment or deep conditioner. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more curly hair tips. Un besito and I'll see you in the next video. And that he could run his fingers through my hair when it was straight. So I, in order to please him, would straighten my hair every single time that I knew I was